Welcome back to Stasis. So the last thing we did is find Eleanor Way here, and she wants me to put her out of her misery. I wasn't sure how to do that, and I was thinking, because this tree is described, uh, this tree that she's kind of growing from, or attached to, described as being, um, very porous. I was thinking maybe it needs to, like, soak up some of the, uh, the milk. Some of the queen's milk to make it grow or something like that, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized I think I need to give her the flare and have her activate it. And maybe, maybe from here she'll be able to activate it and blow up the oxygen. That's most likely it. So let's go ahead and try that. Oh, and by the way, um, there's a recent patch for this game that increased the font size. Which is really good, because the font was so freaking tiny before. Look at that. You might actually be able to read the text now, if, even if you're not in full screen. Amazing. Okay, let's see if I can give the flare to her. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you end this. But you need to help me first. Oh, God. I don't need you to leave. I need you to crack this flare. The oxygen will ignite. Then you will die. suit has regulated body temperature to benchmark level. The fire systems just went haywire over here, John. What did you do? I cleared the vines. With a flamethrower? Something like that. Fire in Oxygen Gardens 1, 3, 5, 6, 9. Fire in Oxygen Gardens 2, 7, 8. Fire Suppression System activated. Warning. Fire Suppression System compromised. Warning. Shit! Oxygen reduction has been compromised. Are the bios still intact? Oh. Oh god, please don't say burn them out. Uh, <laughs> just the one on this level. It's cause a chain reaction, John. You're all going up. We have a time limit now. Powers at most. Get my daughter right now. Oh God. I better save first. of seed. So this is Project Seed. I really don't think it's going to be my daughter. I think it's going to be a, a monster that once was his daughter. The high voltage wireless power pad 
provides a portable energy source for engineers and mechanics. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have walked over it. Hmm. That might be important. Looks like this place is being expanded. The seed was always expanding. That place scares me. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Comforting. High temperature slug gun. Ooh. The smooth surface of the metal toolbox is punctuated by shiny metal pop rivets. Ooh, pretty. I really should stop walking over that. This area seems to have been undergoing a renovation. Indeed. Lots of construction. A large metal scaffold spans the room's width. Closed power cell housing. This lithium-ion fuel cell provides high-density energy storage and remote wireless charging. Hmm. Looks like it needs a special key or something to open it. Don't suppose that would be this, would it? I don't think so. It doesn't work nah. like that. Ooh, I know. Pour Queen's milk into the lock hole. Yeah. Warning. Yellow thing hepatotoxicity is at an elevated level. Okay. Cool. Really, this is the same point. Epic music again. Inappropriately epic music. Okay, so I guess I'm safe if I stay to the side. Let's avoid this robot that wants to shoot us full of holes. It's not going to be able to shoot me from there, right? Mm, no. Okay. Sink. The stainless steel sink uh, stands out after the successive levels of hell you've traversed. It's equipped with a variety of cleaning agents that are presumably safe for skin. I would turn that off, but then I might die. Okay, we're safe. Mutagen laboratory, birthing laboratory. Hmm. Looks like if I got to this platform here, I could probably lift myself up, but then what would I do from there? It's a power pad, another sink airlock. Hmm. I wonder if I can disable a robot. Okay, it's capable of instantly turning its guns to the opposite side. Cool. Oh god, not the epic music again! Shit. Come on, no! Where is Rebecca? Just being used for breeding. Alright, I better save it before I die again, and then have epic music blasted into my ears for the third time. 
seated in the chair is a woman in her mid-thirties, head shaved, limbs atrophied, tumescent in pregnancy. She's connected to a machine that feeds and sedates her. God, look at how sickly they are. They've never moved, have they? Their muscles have just wasted away. John, why did you go all the way around? That's really weird. These women must have families and lives. You can't do anything for them now. Soon this ship will run out of oxygen. They won't be in pain for much longer. A second in this place is more torture than anyone should bear. Well, it might be a good thing that I've destroyed the oxygen production on this ship. As long as we can get off before it kills us. Because every, pretty much everything else on this ship should die. The smell of almonds wafts from the viscous stream of fluid. Ugh. Another power cell. Is this one opened with the same sort of thing? Yep, although this one's turned to the side for some reason. I don't know if that means something. Disconnecting these poor women from the machines and wheeling them away on this gurney would be an easy choice if it weren't for the fact that such an act would surely kill them. Yeah, they can't be moved. There's no way. The awful engorged placenta hangs like a ripened fruit. The pulsating sacs bleed their nutrient mixtures onto the floor, where the liquid congeals in clustered cysts. This is disgusting. Although it is only a wall of gauges, they cluster and protrude like the offspring birthed on a Suriname, Suriname toad's back. Bloated fetus. The thing inside the incubator is... Um, anathema. Anathema? I'm not entirely sure what that word is. Anathema to nature. The poor creature should not exist. And what life it shows is reluctant and painful. Yeah, I'm not familiar with anathema, but it obviously means against or, like, not part of nature, not from nature. Like, is not natural or something like that. A defibrillator. And it looks like it's fully charged. <laughs> what am I going to use that on? What should I look at first? Let's look at Project Seed Revised Version 6 first, and then the uh, observation reports. Update by Dr. G. Milan, Kane Corporation, blah blah blah. For the eyes of the Kane Board of Directors only. Seed is an attempt to create the ultimate super soldier by, in simple terms, activating junk strands of human DNA. Over the years, the human genome has shed, or made dormant, certain strands of its own DNA sequence, for various evolutionary reasons. Professor Salam Gurund observed that certain dormant parts of these genes were not so much junk as they were potential. That is, genetic information contained and completely subliminated by a dominant gene. Or, not subliminated, sublimated. Professor Gerund engineered an early life form based on this original theory by introducing these identified genetic strands in the early stages of embryo formation. The initial concept was intriguing, but his ultimate result was a group of uncontrollable animalistic creatures. Version 6 of this proposal is to update these same dormant genes into the human makeup by use of genetic splicing thereby introducing desirable physical and mental characteristics over a generation to produce fast learning, hard to kill, and utterly ruthless soldiers.
So splice the genes in and hope for the best. <laughs> Observation report one, Dr. C. Williams. Her vital signs are steady. Certain hormonal levels are extremely high, but I'm countering this with the judicious administration of depressants in each case. Survival chances, very high. She is young, healthy, and there are no signs of any infections or complications capable of disrupting the birth. Recommendations, keep under observation. Prepare for phase one treatment. Okay, so this is after genetic splicing, am I right? They spliced the genes and then they're, they were having these women birth the test subjects. Observation report number two by Dr. C. Backham. The subject, despite her promising early progress, appears to be failing. The supposition is that she cannot withstand the, the foreign genetic structure that is being fused into her body. The typical signs of rejection are being displayed. Recommendations. Observe for an additional 24 hours. If there are no signs of improvement, then termination and disposal of the patient is recommended. Report 3 by the same doctor, Dr. Ba Dr. Backham. The subject is progressing well. As well as being aesthetically attractive, she has all the other genetic traits required. Initial concerns about her suitability, voiced by Dr. Milan, chiefly due to the number of her sexual partners, have been proven unfounded. She will be a perfect carrier. The hybrid DNA is fusing to my satisfaction. Apart from a small amount of pain, her body appears to be coping with the adjustments. I prescribed her a steady dose of anesthetic to keep her subdued and comfortable. Hybrid subject number 302 by Dr. G. Milan. Since delivery, hybrid subject 302 has been kept inside an incubator. Due to its respiratory distress, assisted breathing is required. A cardiac arrest has occurred and the use of automated external defibrillators has been required to revive the child. I deduce that the conditions and sickliness are due to the late molecular bonding between hybrid and host DNA in the mother. A weak nervous system is also highly likely in this case, but the subject's regenerative abilities can be stimulated with steroids. Conclusion: The child is weak, but will survive. The mother is suitable for continued breeding. Would that be this subject, or was that too long ago? Is this perhaps a different subject? Hmm. A fine mist sprays down, anointing the bodies of the women below. Hmm, I guess the place needs to be kept humid for some reason. Maybe for the hybrid fetuses. I'm gonna leave now, this place is disgusting. Also, let's not get shot. Mutagen laboratory, quick! Go, 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 go! Oh my god. Everything is coming out now. We're getting to the heart of the experimentation. This must be where diagnostics for experiments are reviewed. Human host. The human appears to be a host for the genetic hybrid growing out of it. Birth was clearly messy and painful. A recent blood discharge hints that this life form isn't viable in the long term. Pulsating mass of flesh and bone. A hideous agglomeration of flesh and bone. Limbs jut haphazardly from its mass. It sports a human head that gurgles out of sync with the pulsing of its other parts. Oh. Ah, uh, this is Dr. C. Backman. They said I'd never make it to 60. <laughs> 85, you fuckers. Old and still cooking with gas. 
three bastard kids and I outlive them all. Okay, so I was young when I had them. Those girls never even knew I was the father, of course. I had to switch the DNA samples so they didn't know the little shits were mine. I'm too old now for all that, but you never completely lose your eye for ladies. Wait, when you were young, you were somehow able to switch the DNA samples? What? How? What the fuck? Alright, well... C. Backman has just instantly established himself as a piece of shit. I might have false teeth, Dr. Milan, but I'm no moron. For the good of humanity, I'm a sociopath. And alleged rapist of women. But your little speech to the crew was less sincere than anything I could say with a straight face. At least you know how to turn a blind eye. Whenever I have to get rid of troublesome subjects, right, Milan? The new gas for the chambers is working splendidly. An improved kill rate of 60% on the old formula. I watched those poor fuckers writhe and die. We have a viewing window now. Just so we can make sure it's done. If I were a moral man, I'd call it perverse. It's lucky for Project Seed that I couldn't give a shit. I thrive when I don't have to answer to everyone with a conscience. Okay. More than just a douchebag, a sociopath, and rapist. Well, he calls himself an alleged rapist, but... If he's calling himself an alleged rapist, then that means he's a rapist. This will not do, not at all. I need more subjects. The rejection ratio of the DNA splicing is stratospheric. So not only do I need more bodies, but I need better ones. They bring me imports and strays, but the best results are achieved with crew members. One cannot prey too often on those, of course, no matter the need. My chosen ones were always those who wouldn't be missed. The furnaces are inadequate for my disposal requirements. I'm told they're so hot that they could destroy dark matter. They seem slow to respond when burning flesh, though, and the smell is hardly pleasant either. It reminds me of that injured dog that I found as a little boy growing up in Missouri. It looked at me with a pleading look. The kind a sick patient gives a doctor they trust absolutely. Naturally, I stomped on the mongrel's head. It was a mercy. There are too many in society who have a similarly damaged disposition. It's a kindness to snuff out their worthless lives. Wow, so this person was just writing their... Just writing all this in their own PDAs, not worried anybody would find it? They just didn't care. I must get more pathway. That little prick to Santos is usually more than forthcoming with its ingredients. But he says his own suppliers are having problems. I know you, to Santos. I know you're not a real doctor. I know the kind. I have five PhDs, and can tell when men have been hired for their instincts rather than their knowledge. Meanwhile, the cutting and splicing continues. Oh, and Charlotte, we all know about your little experiments, you stupid bitch. First she kills her partner by accidentally exposing him to a lethal virus. Then she goes gaga for him. That's the sort of beautiful incompetence that slays me. I spent years perfecting the art of the kill making a murder appear a mishap. And she went and did it all completely by accident. What perfect nonsense. Charlotte. Who, wait, who is Charlotte? Have I forgotten who Charlotte is or have I just never heard of her before? I'm trying to remember. I held a subject down today and used my surgical hammer to cave in his windpipe. Then I gouged out his eyes and tried to rip his jaw from its socket. My goodness, what an outburst. I'm becoming careless. I need more pathway. Dr. Milan is starting to worry that my tendencies cannot be controlled. He need not worry. I'm still focused on seed. Seed is still just that, a seed. But this chrysalis will soon break open and blossom. 
the successfully bred Homo novae wait in their containment cells, while their unsuccessful brethren, reduced to a viral mulch that's already breached the containment seals of the ship, grow. Its genetic makeup might be little more than trash, but it is astoundingly tenacious. I have to respect that which kills with such efficiency. <laughs> Scream in the distance, cool. Uh, hmm. Alright, the successfully bred Homo Novi wait in their containment cells while their unsuccessful brethren reduced to a viral mulch that's already breached the containment seals of the ship grow. Was that the fungus? The viral mulch? The unsuccessful experiments? I woke up in the emergency room today. Somebody found me on the stairs. I can't remember much. What I do know is that both my fucking legs are in casts. I better get comfortable because Dr. Graham says I'll be in here for at least a month. Hmm? How did both his legs end up broken? And he forgot what happened. Just simply fell down the stairs and developed short-term amnesia? Eh. Nah, there's something more to it. We die as the Novi cut us down. But I'm not ready to be replaced by a new species. Our creations are impressive. But I don't share Milan's fanaticism for what is happening here. I must try to make sure one of the lifeboats is available for me. Shame there was not another for that delectable young thing. What was her name? Callister? I would have liked to have her around when the ship was going to hell. She's dead, however. How unfortunate. I may be old, but I'll tear anyone who tries to stop me from leaving apart at the limbs. I've survived police investigations, court cases, vengeful spouses, and idealistic lab hands. I will gut any shitbag trying to prevent my escape, and that includes you, Milan. I will jab out your eyeballs and eat them before I submit to you. Vengeful spouses, holy shit. He actually had a spouse at any one point? I can only feel fucking really bad for them. Oh my god. Well, obviously he wasn't successful in jabbing out Milan's eyeballs. For better or for worse. It might mean he died, which would be a good thing. On the other hand, Milan being dead wouldn't be a bad thing either. This ship needs to die. It really needs to die. Take what little good is left on this ship, get off, and just blow the whole fucking thing up. How can we allow this? This is the purpose of the group lake. It's not on Earth. People can't see it, so they don't care. But if they knew... So what? Two bodies conjoined at the head share one brain. It doesn't seem that the brain is up to the task of coordinati coordinating movement between the two bodies. Overgrown hybrid. This appalling, distended creature appears to be a hybrid, although of what is unknown. It is not completely human, that much is absolutely certain. It's the third power cell I've seen. And this one is also, like, facing a different direction. I don't know if that means something. This is the skeleton of what must have been a very large infant. Conjoined mass. I don't think I need to look at any more of these. If they were more open, this wouldn't happen. Open to who? The people? Governments? Other corporations? What cost? A bit of our humanity, I suppose. Hybrid Reject 604. What? Yep. 
Yeah, Hybrid Reject 604, report by Dr. Williams. During the autopsy of Hybrid 604, there were signs of renal failure. It appears the kidneys were unable to process the amino acids required for the breakdown of nutrients. The damage to the liver, stomach, and intestines show the same degenerative patterns. Reason. It is possible that the report of the mother giving birth three months prior was an error. Comment. Further reports regarding the failure of mutagenic compounds will be finalized later. Hybrid Reject C, Dr. Backman. Subject died during birth. It can only be surmised that death was due to a failing in the host, as all reports and tests leading up to the birth showed no signs of fetal defect. Upon further investigation of the woman's medical history, it was noted that she experienced complications when giving birth to a child previously. This host would not have been used had this been highlighted. In light of her medical history, I now assume this was the cause of the fetal distress and death of the subject. Note: Host is being kept alive and has undergone, undergone one transfusion. Recommendations. Revoke host's life support order and dispose of body with hybrid reject C. Reject 811, Milan. A highly unusual form of rejection such as has not been observed before uh, manifested in this hybrid. It is entirely possible that the mutagenic compounds used to synthesize the hybrid DNA was faulty in this particular instance. Usually with any rejection, there is a sign of initial bonding and then a breakdown. But in this case, there was absolutely no bonding attempted whatsoever. Given the thoroughness with, thoroughness with which we create the DNA, I suspect that the centrifuge machine for this particular batch was faulty. Repair and a maintenance check of the machine is ordered immediately. Recommendations. Destroy what remains and also destroy the fetus. Oh hey, and down here there's a slug gun operator's manual, which unfortunately I can't read. Slug gun is what I have right here. Just looking for anything around the keyboard here. Nope. You never know when there might be an important note around the computer screen. Like that right there, which is not important. Looks like it shows... Actually, what does that show? It looks like it shows a slug gun shooting like a power cell or something. Huh. Oh, this is DeSantos. Oh god, this is gonna be fun to read, I can already tell you. I just, like, skimmed the first couple sentences. <laughs> Here we go. Man, that bitch from shipping won't get off my back. You fuck a girl real good and she just comes crawling back. If she doesn't get out of my hair, I'll have her moved off ship. Dr. Milan is a prick, but he looks after me like that. I gotta say, being on Project Seed is awesome, man. Okay, we gotta do some pretty noxious shit. But in exchange, I got a lot of protection and an honorary title. Dr. DeSantos. I like it. Dr. Milan knows about my contacts and private cargo that arrives on board, and I know he hates it. But there ain't nobody else prepared to work under Dr. Backman. That guy's one twisted fuck and also one of my best customers. I get imports, sure, but my own private lab is what manufactures Backman's pathway shit. Funny, I never realized how dependent these smart asses of science are on drugs. Personally, never touch the stuff. You gotta have your wits about you, man. Especially around here. Alright, yeah, so, <laughs> pathway is a drug. Obviously. One that Backman was on, one that he was addicted to. So, Backman is a scientist given free reign to experiment with subjects, and he's also a drug-addicted sociopathic rapist. Cool! How did anything go wrong aboard this ship? I can't imagine with a crew like this. Wow, Dr. Williams, Charlotte, 
I never would have figured that uptight woman was a slut, but holy hell, she just gave me the ride of my fucking life. Who'd have thought it? Slinky lace under that lab coat of hers? And for a woman in her mid-forties, a body that makes you want to get on your knees and howl at the moon. Against the table, pressed up against the viewport windows, on top, underneath, like a freaking rattlesnake. Of course she's Looney Tunes. Probably thinks I'm her dead husband or something. Like I care. As long as she keeps coming to me to fulfill her needs. Crazy but smart. And she has no idea how much I know about her little project. I saw the details. People just think I'm a smack-talking smartass. But I've been training on the Groom Lake since I was 16. I studied chemistry and genetics. Aced all of it, too. She thinks I'm too stupid to understand. Thinking I could have gotten myself in too deep here. The drug thing was fine, but this whole industrial espionage thing is kind of freaky. I don't think Dr. Milan knows. I know Lincoln watches me with an eagle eye, but he can't know for sure. If he did, he'd eject my ass from the ship with the rest of the failed hybrids. But goddamn, the money is good. I earned my year's salary by sending some info to Black Star Industries. My contact gave me more money than I could conceive for leaking one report. One. I met the guy while I was on leave. He was a smug dickhead who somehow knew what I did. And then he flashed the cash. I've got no loyalties to the company, and I know how Dr. Milan treats loyal staff. That guy can turn on a dime when it suits him. I've heard of weird shit going on down in the decks below, and Seed has me feeling it'll, be, it'll soon be time to get the hell out of Dodge pronto. One or two more reports might just give me what I need. Great, other industries. <laughs> and now I have some of the experimental data that they've gotten here. Uh, is that a good thing, a bad thing? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure whatever results that they've gotten from the experimentation on the ship have to be useful. Even if the way that they've gone about getting these results is incredibly, incredibly, absurdly unethical and fucked up. It would be a shame to, uh, not use what little good has come out of it for something. And I hope the other companies having the information will allow them to do something good with it, rather than encourage them to do similar experiments. Uh, we can only hope. Nobody knows about my little acts of espionage, but who'd care? The ship is falling apart. Some of those fucked up things that Backman and Milan made are on the prowl. I stashed away my cash as soon as I heard things were going wrong, but money ain't gonna make a spit's worth of difference if we all get killed. Milan's taking all this way too calmly. Actually, I'd say he's enjoying all this. He came into the lab this morning. He still makes us all report to the lab, and was grinning the whole damn time. His eyes all red, like he was coming down from a high. That guy does not need drugs for a high. His general fucked upness is what he rides. <clears throat> and here was me thinking Backman was the crazy one. It's just us. Oh god, not even Backman's around now. Charlotte was dragged away to the labs a few days ago. We're sealed off from the other decks. I reckon it's only a matter of time before Milan decides to do something about me, too. I've been living on this ship for years. I know about hidden passages that even Milan doesn't know about. I'll get over to the communications array and let off a signal. Hopefully they'll get to us before Dr. Milan finds out. Did he make it? God, I hope he made it. Maybe somebody's coming. <laughs> Can only hope. Pretty freaking doubtful, though. Especially within the next couple hours before we all die from a lack of oxygen. Nah, not likely. I cannot believe how incredibly, unbelievably sick and horrible the staff on board this ship was. Like, is there a reason they had such a cluster, such a grouping of fucked up horrible people in charge of such important things? 
Is it just because they couldn't find anybody else to do the work? Nobody else would even sign up for such a thing? Unless they had, like, severe mental problems, like being a sociopath? I don't know. Well, I better save it just in case I get shot up by that robot outside again. Maybe I should try shooting the robot with my slug gun. I don't know, it seems kind of risky though. What if I shoot it and then it doesn't die and then it shoots me? Then I'll be dead and it won't. That would be very unfortunate. Hmm. I'm just gonna wait here. Actually, I need to do something about it right now, don't I? There's really nowhere else I can go, is there? Hmm. Okay, let's try shooting it. it seems too simple. I don't think it's gonna work. Nope. <laughs> good try, John. Good try. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to try to deal with a robot.